Hey guys, welcome back. It's uh, time to look at another custom, one that I've been uh, wanting to do for a long time, but I, quite honestly, I had no idea how I was gonna pull it off. So this, this is actually the finished product. This is my ultimate WrestleMania 18 rock. And it's basically, it is a Target exclusive Legends Ultimate Rock um, with the trunks and head of a uh, Holly, WrestleMania Hollywood Elite Rock. Um, now, I wanted to do this cu do this custom uh, as soon as the Legends Rocks was released, and I got that figure, and I cracked that torso open, and like many other people, I was surprised to find this type of peg when I was used to seeing something like this. So, to be quite honest, I had no idea how I was going to make this work. Um, until Mania Figs, who, if you aren't already, you need to be following, uh, released a video not too long ago about how to uh, how to accomplish that. So I, I followed those instructions. Um, you need to go take a look at Mania Figs' video. Uh, give them a like, a subscribe. Uh, but I'll uh, I'll show you um, how I made out, and I'll give you kind of a quick overview of his process and and some things that I I did a little bit differently. So when you crack this open, this this top part is really kind of what well, we have been seeing, but in the abdomen piece, there's this big, huge block here with a little, I don't know if you can see that, a little hole for the ball to sit in. And that kind of sits like that. And then there's just a little bit of room for for that to, to kind of slide in there. Uh, obviously, not a lot of room for that, but if you do, if you do take this rubber piece out, um, and I've already made modifications to this, so it slides in perfectly right now. Um, you can slide in that piece just like so, and it does it does hold pretty well. So what you need to do is you first off, you need to just kind of carve this out just a little bit, and then just a little bit of a round, um, round out in this bottom piece just to make this uh, this torso peg slide in nicely. Um, so what I started with is I just used this little stone grinding bit with my Dremel tool. Um, if you don't have a Dremel tool and you're doing customs, you definitely need to go get one. I just have a knockoff um, Tac Life one that I picked up on Amazon, pretty cheap. Um, it's got variable speed, uh, works really well, and it comes with a lot of accessories that uh, I actually use for customs. So. I just, um, what I do is I put my Dremel tool um, just on the edge of a table so I can kind of hold it with one hand and then uh, I just kind of, just very slowly, um, I just can't get that to focus, very slowly carve that out. Now I'll do a little bit of it at a time and then I'll take the piece and I'll slide it in to see if it fits. And once you get it so that it kind of slides all the way to the back, you're, you're pretty much good to go. And this is the front part of the abdomen. The, the back part, um, you don't really need to do anything with. Um, this next part, what you need to do is you need to tap a little bit of a hole in the top of this peg so that there's room for the ball to sit. Otherwise, the, it won't go back together. Um, now, I wasn't really sure how that was going to work out, so I actually grabbed this little scrap p um, razor bottoms um, out of my uh, fodder bin. So that, that's another customs lesson, lesson. If you're into doing customs and you take something apart, never, never throw the pieces out. Because when you're trying something new, it's great to have things to practice on. So um, this um, that came with my Dremel tool is probably the perfect size. But the problem is when you're... You, using the Dremel, something round on a flat piece, it's gonna like skip all around. So what I actually did first, you, you could use a regular drill bit. I just used this cone shaped um, grinding stone and I just very carefully went through the center just a little bit, just to kind of give the uh, um, the ball shaped one uh, a, bit of a, a bit of a guide. So once I had that, I just took this ball shaped one and just very lightly, you don't have to go very deep. You want to make sure like you're not like taking off this outer ring, just a little, just a slight indentation um, for that, for that ball joint to fit on. So once I was happy with uh, <laughs> my practice piece, um, I went ahead and, and did the same thing with, with the actual um, parts I'm going to use. 
And then when I was reassembling it, what I found actually worked better is I actually put his back piece in first and then I slid this on. I might have to do this off camera. It's a little bit hard. And that, um, I don't know, maybe it was just my figure. I found he opened up this way a lot further than that, that way. Um, and then I just kind of, yeah, sorry, I'm gonna do this off camera. Actually, sorry, I should show you from the back. You can see how that ball like sits in that little, uh, that little divot that we made there. And it, there's, there's lots of um, torso movement, which is good. Sorry, scratch, scratch that last thought. What I actually just found is what is much easier is to just put the bottom piece like totally together um, and then just kind of force that, force that in like that and he goes in, he goes together very nicely. So there you go. There is the ultimate WrestleMania 18 rock with the new torso, um, very clean. It's a little, like there is a little bit um, of extra movement in here. Um, you could like probably what you could do is um, stick a little bit of a Mac tack or something in in that little pocket where the ball um, kind of rests and might tighten it up a little bit. I might actually give that a try and let you guys know um, how that works. And here he is about to shake the hand of Hulk Hogan uh, in that iconic uh, scene from WrestleMania 18. And there you go. Again, uh, big shout out to Mania Figs for coming up with a process to, um, to, to work with these new torsos. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more customs and uh, how-to content. Thanks for watching.